uh, just three simple steps. Uh, because, again, my friend, in this business of the home-based business arena, when you're talking about building a team, when you're talking about uh, leveraging and making leveraged money, and, again, uh, I train people to be what's called a CLO. That stands for Chief Leveraging Officer. Archimedes said, if I had a lever long enough and a prop strong enough, I could single-handedly move the world. And so the power of leverage, everybody can't be a CEO or CFO or COO, but Dr. Breakthrough says everybody can be a CLO, and that stands for Chief Leveraging Officer. And so, my friend, uh, people ask me all the time, how in the world do you, you and your lovely wife build a team of 13,000 people and then build another team of over 22,000 people, build another team, um, by the way, of 1.5 million people. How, how, how does that happen? Well, there's some fundamental philosophical things you have to have in place, my friend, and, uh, and it deals with selling and recruiting. And if you're going to sell and recruit, which, by the way, they're so, so similar, it's so much the same. Now, I always say I've never been a network marketer, nor will I ever be. I've just been a networker who leverages marketing, and there's a huge difference. And so, my friend, if you'll take these three simple things that I give to you today and implement them, apply them, appropriate them, uh, then, my friend, it'll make a huge difference in your life. So uh, three-step breakthrough system, selling system number one, is you have to engage. There's three words that start with the letter E. Number one, engage. See, you've got to learn to engage. And if you want to engage people, you've got to learn to ask questions, okay? So how do you engage people? You ask questions. For instance, may I ask you a question? <laughs> That's simple, right? I was talking to somebody yesterday. I said, may I ask you a question? They said, sure. I said, would you like to get healthier, wealthier, wiser, or all three? See, that's an engaging question I'm asking. It's, so it's causing engagement because now they're about to answer back. Now, they, they answered back and they said, well, I'd like to do all three, okay? So we've got some engagement. See, part of the problems with sales people and, and why people are turned off to sales and again, what they call sales is not really sales. They've been deceived into thinking that that trickery and that fast talk and that pressure and all that kind of stuff is sales. That's not sales. <laughs> that's, that's something else, my friend. So, so sales, literally, as I mentioned before, comes from service and being a problem solver and a solution provider. And so, my friend, this three-step breakthrough selling system, the first step is you've got to learn to engage. Matter of fact, if you're going to be a great speaker, you've got to learn to engage the audience. If you're going to be a great person who builds a team, you've got to be able to engage. And so, my friend, you engage by asking questions. And, and again, I made it so simple, especially with what we're doing here. If you could just ask people, would you like to be healthier, wealthier, wiser, all three, 99.99% .99 of people say all three. Matter of fact, thus far, I've never had anybody, but I'm sure somewhere out there, there's somebody, but but I'm just saying I've never had it yet. But uh, so, would you like to be healthier, wealthier, wiser, or all three? And and when you can engage, by the way, asking the question over the phone, you can you can do it via social media, you can do it via email. I mean, there's different ways you can do it as long as you're causing some engagement. Because again, my friend, we don't want to talk at people. Uh, we want to engage and talk with people. Notice the difference. So salespeople, the traditional so-called sales, that just talk at people. No, no, no. We want to learn to engage people, talk with people by asking questions. So I asked the person, would you like to be healthier, wealthier, wiser, all three? And they said, well, all three. I said, may I ask you another question? They said, sure. Would you like to do all three sooner or later? And they said, well, well, sooner, of course. I said, okay, well, how soon is soon to you? <laughs> and they said, right now. So, so you see how easy it is, my friend, by asking a series of questions uh, that you can engage people. And, uh, and, and, and listen, my friend, you can get really, really good, regardless of how seemingly bad you are now, because remember, everybody has to start off somewhere. 
And uh, my main message in life, as you know, is every master was once a mess or at best mediocre. Therefore, every mess or mediocre person can one day be a master. So, 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 so watch this, my friend. So it doesn't matter where you are now. It's where you want to be. So you've got to learn these steps. So ask questions. By the way, you can invite them to imagine, right? So invite people to imagine. There's something powerful about the word imagine. When you say when you say imagine, you, now, now you're pulling them in in their subconscious mind as well as touching their emotions. So imagine waking up in the morning without any aches or pains. You remember how you used to wake up and maybe sit on the edge of bed? Well, imagine waking up feeling refreshed. Imagine having the, one of the best night's sleep you've ever had. Imagine again waking up in the morning and there's no aches and pains and no cracks in your bones. Imagine how good that would feel. What would that be worth to you? Imagine having the energy to go throughout the day without having to take a nap. Imagine having so much energy that literally people are attracted to you. You become like a magnet because high energy attracts high, powerful people. Imagine if you started making more money in a month than you used to make an entire year. Imagine. So, see, it doesn't cost anything to imagine. And, and the problem with television today is it knocks out people's imagination. We used to sit by the, in the olden days, they'd sit by the radio and uh, listen to the radio, and then they would have to imagine, and they could see even sometimes better than what we see on television today because they use their own imagination now. Uh, it's not been working so well. Matter of fact, we would read books, and as we read, we'd envision things. And so a lot of times the imagination, my friend, is and like everything. It's a muscle, and it hasn't been worked. And so, my friend, it's weak, and so it has to be reinvigorated. So, so engage. You got to ask questions. You got to invite them to imagine. By the way, the, we call it the puppy dog clothes. You got you got to be able to give someone something they can hold on. By the way, and the key is you can't let them have it longer than twenty four to seventy uh, to, to twenty four to seventy two hours. I mean, it's it's. Uh, matter of fact, I, I probably would just go twenty four to thirty six. But anyway, no more than seventy two hours. So let them hold on to something, right? So for instance, I was uh, speaking down in Tampa. And the elder Foster there gotten his hydration drops, and they worked so well for him. And, oh, my goodness, he talked about the fact that he's been having this pain in his back. And that sometimes when he wake up in the morning, it would drop him to his knees. And he said, ever since he's been drinking these hydration drops, the pain is gone. So his sister-in-law was over visiting. He was sharing with her. And so she's like, well, well, well can I have – I, I want to try it. And so he said, listen, here's my bottle. He said, just take it and take it home and get you a, a gallon of distilled water and put about six drops in that distilled water and then bring it back tomorrow. See, that was the key. Bring it back tomorrow. Once he bought his bottle back, by the way, he left, he leaves his bottle sitting um, out and, and she was there and they were talking and she said, what's that bottle? And that, so she actually asked him. I thought that was interesting, my friend. And that's another way you can engage people, by the way, is is, you know, when I go places, I have one of my books and I leave it sitting out. If you have your hydration drops, you can leave it sitting out. You have your little nano card, whatever you have. I'm saying, and people are like, wait a minute, what, what is that? So whatever it is you're selling, whatever it is, my friend, you're promoting, whatever it is you have that can be of value to someone, then, then you want to engage people so you can ask the question. You can invite them to imagine. But the puppy dog closes. You, you, you leave what you have out. And so people say, well, you know, what, what is it? It's because you build, build curiosity, right? And they'll ask you questions. And so anyway, she came back the next day with the bottle. And she's like, oh, my goodness, you're not going to believe this. And she has um, problems with gout in every day of her life. Her feet are in such incredible pain. And she said, there is no pain. She's like, there is no way. There is no pain in my feet. I got to buy some of these things. How do I get it? And so he gave her his website and she went and ordered, right? What I'm saying, my friend, is this. I'm saying that, that you can, this three-step breakthrough selling system, if you can just learn to engage, I'm telling you, my friend, it'll cause a difference in people's lives. 
So, so again, you've got to learn to ask questions. You've got to learn to invite them to imagine. You've got to learn to have some things sitting out that'll, that'll stir their curiosity. My friend, you've got to have the puppy dog closed where you let them hold the thing for a while. Um, I was speaking in Tampa, one of the ladies there uh, that, that uses a walker and having problems walking. And so uh, I, I said, listen, hold this card, this breakthrough card, just hold it uh, while I'm speaking and, and, and we'll talk a little bit later. And so after I was done speaking, she's like, oh, my goodness. She's like, something, this card is doing something. My feet are feeling better. She's like, oh, my goodness, what is this thing? <laughs> right? So, so the three-step selling uh, breakthrough selling system, number one is engage. Number two is educate. Number one, engage. Number two, educate. And sometimes the education process will start the engaging process, but, but primarily engage and then educate. And so she's like, what is this thing? It's inc I, man, I'm loving what I'm feeling and sensing. And by the way, I said to her, I'll tell you what, so I'll be back speaking tomorrow. You keep it. And I said, I'm going to warn you now. You're gonna, when I, so you got to give it back tomorrow. And I, but you're not going to give it back. I promise you, you're going to want to pay me for it. <laughs> and what do you think happened the next day? Of course, not only did she pay me for it, watch this, my friend, but she started telling other people, you've got to talk to Dr. Breakthrough and get one of these – I'm telling you this thing, and she just starts telling what happened to her. Matter of fact, she even had her cousin uh, the, the following day, Sunday, which was Sunday after church, had his cousin come by uh, and, uh, and purchase a card from me as well. And I'm telling you, my friend, it's incredible. So, so you first of all got engaged, and that's why I love especially using the nano card where I do the demonstrations. And uh, if you don't have the demonstration video, of course, you can text me, uh, and I can send you the demonstration video demonstrating this breakthrough nano card. Um, of course, you have my number, 717, or if you don't have my number, it's 717 area code 275-3508, 717-275-3508. So you want to engage, number one. Number two, you want to educate. And, um, and again, Education is like salting. You know, people say you can take a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Well, that may be true. So what Dr. Breakthrough says and practices is if you salt the horse down before you take him to the water so they can drink. So I don't just salt them down and let them go. No, I ain't letting them go to somebody else's water. <laughs> I salt them down and guide them to the water so they can drink. So, again, you can take a horse to water. You can't make him drink. They say salt him down. Put salt in his oat. Give him something that will create a desire to create that thirst, right, to create that, that hunger, that thirst. And then you guide them to something that's going to satisfy that thirst. And that's part of what the true education, that's part of what testimonials do, by the way. Uh, remember, facts tell testimonial sell. I know they used to say facts tell, stories sell. But Dr. Breakthrough says people are sick and tired of hearing stories, especially, you know, stories that aren't true. Now, true stories are one thing, but a lot of times stories in this industry is just that. It's a story. I don't need a story. I need a testimonial, a testimonial telling me where you were and now where you are, and this is the thing that did it, right? All I know is this you know, Lily Gray, uh, legs were swollen, and uh, she's on a walker, literally. And a few days after uh, Pastor Kenny said, here, here's my drops. And after a few days of using those hydration drops, her legs, the swelling went down, as a matter of fact, almost half the size, and she was off the walker. And guess what? She turned into a flaming evangelist telling people about <laughs> these hydration drops. And more importantly, she had a picture showing them the picture. And that's even more powerful, my friend. They said, uh, you know, a picture is worth a thousand words. So guess what? So a video is worth a million words. <laughs> Write that down. So a picture is worth a thousand words. And so having a picture is powerful. Having a before and after picture, and uh, that's what she had. Watch this, my friend. So a video is worth a million words, Dr. Breakthrough says. And so creating and turning something in, into a video, having a video testimonial, so it's visual where they can see and hear. And uh, some people are auditory learners, that's from what they hear, but others are 
um, uh, not just aud uh, auditory learners, but visual learners, right? But then the third group are those who are kinesthetic learners, okay? So you got the audio learners based on what they hear, and then you've got the visual learners, and that's based on what they see, but the kinesthetic learners are the ones who have to have the hands on, my friend, and that's where you're really making a huge difference. Matter of fact, I often tell my audiences what you hear, you tend to forget what you see, you tend to remember what you experience, you never forget. And so when I speak, I create an experience. And when you engage, when you can create an experience, people will never forget you. So again, what you hear, you tend to forget. What you see, you tend to remember. However, what you experience, you never forget. So, so how, how do you create an experience? Again, my friends, based on what you're marketing, what you're promoting, but if you're doing what we're doing here, part of the team here with Shop Free Mart and uh, what I call this international kingdom-based exclusive discounted buyers club, uh, then, my friend, you have to understand that we've got some products and some services that will literally change people's lives. So in educate, the sorting down those testimonials. Testimonials create curiosity and stir up desire. Uh, Pastor Peterson called me yesterday about updating his, uh, gave me an update that um, in three months, just under three months, he had lost 32 pounds on these products. 32 pounds. I was like, man, you got to call my answer machine again and give a fresh updated testimonial. And which he did. He also mentioned, and oh, I, I bought 10 mini joint ventures. I was like, wow, you bought 10 mini. You got to add that on the testimony as well. Because we talked, he said, you know, I love the idea of my money being able to make money for me even when I'm not doing anything. I said, well, you know, I've got some things that I've invested in. And if you think about it, I said, there's nothing I can do to help that investment. Not one single thing. I said, this is the only thing I can do that I can increase and up the price and up the uh, value of what something I've invested in. Because every mini joint venture, and they only had 10,000, they got 70,000 members. I'm not sure how long they'll last. So you want to make sure you get some ASAP, but, but only $100 a share that in, in, um, entitles you to one-tenth of 1%. 1 so he got 10 of them. So now that's that's an entire 1% of the monthly company profits. Now, they'll start paying out every other month once the 10000 are all sold, and then they'll start paying out every month. And as you know, it'll start off small, but as it gets to grow, and imagine when we have a half million members, imagine when we have a million members, imagine when we have two million and three or four or five million, imagine what those payouts will end up being like. And so, my friend, that's powerful when your money can start having money. And so anyway, make a long story short, he bought those, right? So I had him upgrade the testimonial. Somebody just hearing his testimony will say, wait a minute, I need to get me some hydration drops. If it's working like that for him, wait a minute, I need to get me some of those mini joint ventures. That's right. I want my money to make money for me as well. And so educating people through the testimonials, my friend, is powerful. By the way, right, my definition of education, true education that doesn't increase cognitive thinking, create a change in your heart, movement in your feet, or money in your pocket is wasted information. Let me say it again. So education or information that doesn't increase cognitive thinking, in other words, make you think. Number two, create a change in your heart. Number three, movement in your feet. Or number four, money in your pocket is wasted information or education. So information or education that doesn't increase cognitive thinking, create a change in your heart, movement in your feet, or money in your pocket is wasted information or education. So first you're going to engage, three-step breakthrough selling system. First you engage. Number two, you then educate. And then number three, you enroll. You enroll. How do you enroll somebody? It's real simple. You ask. You ask them. <laughs> right? By the way, the education process, going back to what Elder Foster 
he <clears throat> excuse me, told his testimonial. His sister-in-law was uh, curious when she saw the bottle. Uh, he let, and so he said, listen, I've got this number by Dr. Breakthrough. Let me, let me call it real quick. And he put it on speakerphone. He dialed the number, 646-653-1827. That's 646-653-1827. By the way, if you go to freebreakthroughpresentation.com, that's www.freebreakthroughpresentation. Don't put it in the Google search. Put it right up in the web browser, Free breakthroughpresentation.com and kick up, click on, excuse me, <laughs> presentation calls. Uh, you'll see a list of those calls, but that's a little 24-7, about a four-minute call, 646-653-1827. He had her listen to it, and she's like, man, this is, okay, I got to order those, right? So, so again, you're going to engage by asking questions and inviting them to imagine, use the puppy dog clothes. You're going to educate, salt, like salting the horse down, putting salt in the horse's oats, right? Uh, uh, the testimonials are going to create and stir up the desire, and, and, and that's the true educational process, by the way. And then you're going to enroll. You're going to ask them, uh, by the way, to G-E-T, you've got to A-S-K. <laughs> so the G-E-T to get, you've got to A-S-K. you got to ask. So listen, my friend, and uh, you can enroll. Listen, now, you can enroll people if you'll learn to ask. You've got to come outside your comfort zone, but you've got to learn to ask. Don't wait for them to say, oh, I just can't wait. I, can't, I, I got to sign up. No, no, no. You've got to learn to ask. And not only ask, you've got to learn, first of all, to ask, assuming. So, um, so Jonathan, or so whatever the name is, so are you ready? You said you wanted to get healthier, wealthier, wiser. So are you ready to get healthier, wealthier, wiser uh, right now? And it, it's like, yeah. So that's, that's enroll you. That's get your no cost to you membership now. And that's order your product so you can get what you said you wanted. The enrolling process, you've got to ask. So many people never ask. And they just keep talking and talking and talking and talking. And so in essence, you're talking people into it and you're talking them out of it. No, you've got to ask the question and be quiet. So, so what else would you need to know before you started saving money and making money? See that question and you quiet. So what else? So what else would you need to know before you started this process of getting healthier, wealthier, and wiser? And then quiet, right? So what else would you need to know? And I'm telling you, um, and then sometimes I'll just say, so So surely you're ready now to get started with me, right? Um, again, enrolling, asking the question. Question, my, of course, you know the most powerful one is, if my wife and I are willing to dedicate part of our lives to your success, would you allow us to empower you or would you fight against them? They're like, no, I'm not going to fight against you, okay? Well, let's get you enrolled right now. Uh, so, again, my friend, you've got to keep people's favorite radio station as I close. Keep this in mind. It's W-I-I-F-T, W-I-I-F-T, as a marketer, that's got to be your favorite radio station. Here's what it stands for. W-I-I-F-T, what's in it for them, <laughs> right? What's in it for them? Because, see, everybody's favorite radio station, as you heard, is W-I-I-F-M, what's in it for me. But as a marketer, as a person, my friend, who's going to sell and recruit successfully, your favorite radio station has to be W-I-I-F-T, what's in it for them. And so you're going to approach them and what's in it for them, not do me a favor. And I'm, no, 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 none of that. No, 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 no. What's in it for them? So talk to them about what's in it for them. As I mentioned, talk to them from the standpoint of how it solves their problem or it's providing a solution. And so now you're asking the enrolling process is simply asking them, are you ready to accept this solution to your problem? <laughs> right? Who's going to say no to that? Are you ready to get this amazing, amazing solution that you've been looking for? I, don't, I can't tell you how many times people said to me, man, I've been praying for something like this. I've been looking for something like this. I'm like, well, no, I've been praying for somebody like you and looking for somebody like you. So I guess we both found each other. So, hey, these are three simple, powerful uh, breakthrough selling system. Engage by asking questions. Invite them to imagine the puppy dog clothes we talked about. And uh, then educating is like salting, uh, putting salt in the horse's oats, and so it salts them down. But then you guide them to the water you want them to drink, 
It's like sheep with a shepherd, right? Uh, a, a shepherd doesn't feed the sheep. A shepherd leads them to safe feeding ground. And most people today are like sheeple, right? Sad to say they're like sheeple. So you've got to be able to guide and lead them. Uh, and you do that by the engaging process. You do that by the educating. And then you do that by the enrolling process. And my friend, you want to use the powerful leverage. So to enroll them, you can, again, freebreakthroughpresentation.com, have them go there and watch. Enroll them, three-way them into the call, 646-653-1827. Just a few minutes, just jolt of, man, straight to the point, powerful, impactful information that can change their lives forever. It's changed others, and surely it could change theirs as well. I trust this has been a blessing to you. Uh, the problem, though, is it won't do you any good unless you apply it. And I'm sure you will. And when you apply it, <laughs> you'll get some incredible results like we've been getting all to the glory of God.